Today I'm going to show you how to add a Roz Assistant to a Django web app. So once you're done, your finished result is going to look something like this. I can start my conversation by saying hi. If I'm on Chrome, I can also use voice input. Very sad. So the React component that we're going to be using is called Chatroom. It's by Scalable Minds, uh, and it is licensed under AGPL 3.0. So you should double check that that's a license that's going to work for your particular project. So I already have Raza installed in a Conda environment. If you need help doing that, we have some videos on YouTube that walk you through it. So I'm going to activate the Raza environment where I have Raza installed. And once that's been activated, I also want to make sure that I have installed Django. So we can do that using pip install D-J-A-N-G-O. I've already installed it in this Conda environment, and Django is a fully featured web framework. So the first thing I want to do is create a new Django project. To do that, I'm going to use the command Django admin dart project, and then the name of my project. So in Django, a project is uh, the top level of organization that contains your entire web app, and will have smaller applications inside called apps. So I'm going to call this my project just to make it easy to refer to later on. Once we've done that, you can see that we've created a um, new folder here. So let's go into that folder. And now we're going to create a new application, python manage.py using this py script here start app and then call our app whatever we like and here I'm going to call it my app just so it's clear when I'm referring to an app and when I'm referring to a project and a single project can have multiple apps in it. So the way that you tell a specific app what to render is that you create a template and then you refer to that template. So I am going to create a new folder in here called templates. Uh, and in this template, I'm going to create a new file uh, that just has some HTML in it and I'm going to call it chatroom.html. In this file, I want to say that the doc type is HTML and then also clarify that I'm using English. And then from the chat room readme, I'm just going to copy and paste this body of code. So I could use this as is, but I'm actually going to make some changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the title to Raza Assistant. And the title is going to be what's up here at the top of the assistant window. So here it says my Raza Assistant. And I'm also going to change the welcome message. We should start with a message that lets our user know what to do with the assistant. So I'm going to say I am an assistant powered by Raza. You can start by saying hi. And this just lets our user know what they should do next to continue the conversation with the assistant. You'll also notice here a URL. So this is the URL that's going to be serving your Raza assistant. Right now, this is going to assume that your assistant is running locally on port 5005. So now that we've added our template, we need to clarify where it is for the rest of our project. So under settings, if you scroll down, you'll see this section templates. Uh, and right here, this directories argument is empty. And I'm going to add an argument that points to this folder, os.path.join. Uh, and then I'm going to join the base directory and templates uh, because I've called the folder here templates and this folder is in the base directory for my project here and make sure that you save this. We have a template and our project knows where to find it but nothing is actually calling it yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to your app whatever it's called and views and then in here we're going to say that we want to uh, render this template. So to do that first I'm going to make sure that I I import HTTP response from Django.HTTP, and then I'm going to uh, create a new function called index. We're going to return a render of chatroom.html, and this is the name of the file and templates that we want it to use, and make sure that we save. So what URL is this going to be at? Well, we need to uh, make sure that our project knows where that is. So we are going to, in uh, my apps, create a new file called urls.py. Inside urls.py, we are going to import path and include from django.urls. We're going to import views, so this views.py file down here. And we're also going to add this URL pattern, path, nothing, views.index, and then the name is index. 
All right, so this is the um, URL for the app, but I also need my project to know where to go as well. So right now you can see in my project, I have a single URL pattern that points to admin. This is a built-in, uh, but we also want it to point to our app so that we can render our nice HTML React component so that we can talk to our assistant. I'm going to extend this path uh, and then we're going to give it the name of the folder where my app lives. And in this case, that is pretty simple. It's my underscore app uh, with a slash. So we're also going to include the URLs that we've defined in there. So to do that, we're going to do include as a string my app dot urls. Uh, we also haven't imported this include function. So I'm going to make sure that I import that as well. And that is in Django's.url. So at this point, I'm going to be able to actually serve my uh, Django web app locally. And to do that, I want to make sure that I am in the same folder as my uh, manage.py script. And I believe I am already there. Fantastic. Python and then the manage.py script and then the command run server. And this will create a local server. So you can see it is being deployed at 127.0.0.1 uh, port 800. So I can follow that link. Right now you see that I get a page not found because we didn't uh, define a git method. Uh, if I go to admin, you can see that I can log in for Django administration, or I can go to the other URL we defined, which is my underscore app. And this loads the React component. I can use voice input because I'm using Chrome, but our assistant isn't actually going to respond to us because right now the host URL is not active. There's nothing there. So the next thing we need to do is create a Raza assistant and serve it. To do that, first I'm going to make a new file uh, and I'm just going to call it moodbot because that's the uh, example that we're going to use here. Make sure that I change directory into it. And in this new folder, I am going to initialize a new Raza project, put it in the current directory. Uh, and I'm also going to train an initial model. So if you initialize, but you don't train a model, uh, your assistant won't run. Now our assistant has been trained and I want to serve it. Uh, and for this example, I'm just going to serve it locally and then make sure that my uh, React component is pointed towards the URL where the assistant is being served. So to serve my assistant locally, I'm going to use Raza run m models. So this is the folder where my models are being stored. I'm going to enable API. I'm also going to set cores to star. And then finally, I want lots of information about what's going on. So I'm going to include this debug call so that I know what's happening. Now that our assistant is up and running, we can scroll up a little bit and see that it's being served on localhost port 5005. And I'm just going to double check that that's the same, uh, URL that I am pointing my assistant to, and it is uh, localhost 5005. So I don't need to change that. It should be pointed directly to our assistant. All right, so here is the My App application on Django. If I reload the page where my app is currently being served, you can see that it clears the session. Uh, and now that my Raza assistant is being served on the URL that my app expects it to be at, I can talk to it. So if I say hi, you can see that we do get a response. Hey, how are you? Uh, and I can say I'm very sad. Uh, and then I get a picture of a baby tiger. Uh, and as you can see, Moodbot is responding appropriately. So that's all you need to do to connect a Raza assistant to a Django web application uh, using the chat room React component. Thanks for joining me for this Raza tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in the next one.